Hey guys, it's Basis Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Hey, what's up? So, hey, I got uh, this tool that um, I, I actually caught wind of over uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh. You can actually catch a longer explanation of this process. Uh, let's say PodCampPittsburgh.com, you find tweet jukebox, play your tweets in a more efficient way. Uh, this was actually by Saren Merrill of uh, Universalist, I'm sorry, I'll have it in a moment here, Universal, UUPerspective.com is actually her thing. I think she has a podcast over there. Um, so if you want to go check that out, please give her props. I'll definitely tag her in this. But this was a, a big takeaway I got, you know, and I don't get a chance to sit down and watch a lot of the sessions. I try to a little bit here and there. I'm right around doing the video. But but I got this is one of the first ones I, I, I listened to on uh, the next day after PodCamp because uh, this is a concept that I, I, I caught pretty good and most of the videos most of the sessions are up there at podcampusburg.com in some way uh, we're going to try to put better quality up ones up eventually uh so as i find time i guess so look out for those podcampusburg.com look tweet you box there by sharon uh but so this is uh, you know we're, we're, maybe if you're doing social media you're familiar with the hoot suites and the buffers and the scheduling apps right and i have i've had my process has been i have a list of regular promotional t- tweets like, hey, go check us out on YouTube. Hey, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Hey, check out this. Hey, hey, hey buddy, you know, hey, buddy, pal. Uh, hey, uh, go to Slice on Broadway and check out our friends and stuff like that. That's something I would meticulously, well, one, sit there with the weekly tweets of, hey, the show came out and make sure I schedule that through the weekend. And I'm like picking, I'm like, oh, I don't want it twice a day. What am I doing here? You know, we'll put this, this, and this. And, and, and I'm very careful about, automating tweets because i'm really worried about that well it's not going to be a conversational thing but 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 a lot of that philosophy can be well but still the promotional things you need to have people see and if i'm only putting stuff out "Ah, i think at nine o'clock we're okay you know i'm not covering the people 24 hours you know something like the wrestling mayhem show say say something something that's not regional you want 24 hours a day because people are watching wrestling on the west coast three hours after you watched it here on the East Coast. People are watching, hell, wrestling any time of the night. Rock comes on in other countries throughout the night after it's been live here or throughout the week sometimes. So you want that to be persistent. And and you're not going to be up and you're and to sit there uh, once a week, once a month, whatever the case, and schedule those regular tweets are going to be a problem. So, and even even sitting there and saying, okay, I need to put in, uh, okay, how many times am I going to tweet about this aspect of this show this week? So you go in here. Uh, this is your interface. If you're on video with us, this is the tweet jukebox. Pretty simple. It's free for now. You're talking about maybe doing a $10 option later down the road, but they'll still have a free one for people who don't want the bells and whistles. I'm hoping I'm not using higher end stuff, so maybe we'll be okay, right? Uh, but the biggest thing here is going to my jukeboxes, and you can add your own. You can see I got a few things listed here. First of all, I have general promotion. And you have a few options in here. And I just have a list. There's 20 records in here. I have some of these with like 30 or 40. So there's a lot of variety going on. So what am I doing? Uh, just some plugs for our friends, for instance, like IndieWrestling.us. I, you know, I have Get the Latest from IWC Wrestling, RWA Wrestling, VOW Wrestling. And that's randomized at this point. You know, if you look at those three tweets uh, to begin with, one's one happened on the 31st. Two of them happened on the 29th at at, at, at it looks like midnight and 7 a.m. So they've been spread out a little bit. And 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 also there's something that, that those groups that we tagged can now retweet. And you didn't have to think about it. And they're going to see that on their side. You know, other plugs for our friends, basic sickness, stuff throughout the week. And even going through, well, this is what, the other thing, resurfacing content that you already have. We have interviews out the ass on here. We have classic interviews uh, from the old Wrestling Mayhem show. Indie Mayhem show is up to, I think, episode 84 this past week, which means we have 84 interviews. So I've gone through, and, I th- and people that I think are going to retweet their stuff, we tag them on Twitter. That comes up every couple of days because the way we've scheduled this thing, because the way we do, the way I do this, at least how I've generated this over the, over the last two weeks since PodCamp, as I've been experimenting with this, is I'll go in and, uh, you know, for instance, the general population here happens every one hour and 47 minutes. Why is it such an odd number? One, if you have all your tweets going out every two hours, every three hours, one, if you have more than one jukebox, then they're all going to go out at the same time on the hour if they all line up. If you spread this out, the one hour, 47 minutes, for instance, it's going to look more 
I guess, genuine, right? It's going to be a little more randomized. It's going to be, uh, it's not going to just flow out with a bunch of other stuff. So you need to give that a little bit of variety there. You can also go in the options. You can turn this on and, and make sure tweets don't repeat for every so many days. And, and, and again, they give you, if you put it too high, then you may just stop your tweets from playing if you just run out of tweets, for instance, right? So I, I have for the general population here, uh, the general promotion here, uh, uh, the not show a tweet for at least three days. That way, if we're, we're tagging somebody, they're not getting a tweet every day or every couple of hours if this thing kind of goes wonky on us. I figure that's kind of a good median right is every three days it remind you hey we did this interview with zach allen you know zach allen sees it in his, in his feed every three days or so whenever that may pop up and it says oh yeah hey i did this interview check us out with our friends and then he's showing more people on top of that we recently had a sale come up a coupon code with spreadshirt uh for our stuff for wrestling ma'am show for sorgatron media uh t-shirts over there and uh we've so we set up a sale. I think it ended today or September 1st. So I can go in here and make a little promotional thing, have that come out every so many hours. Maybe I want it a little higher so people can see the sale and, and it'll end. And I don't have to think about that promotion ending or week to week as we put out the podcast. I can go in there and say, OK, these are the tweets that say, hey, we talked about this. Hey, we talked about SummerSlam. Hey, we talked about uh, this show that happened. Hey, we talked about this show coming up. We talked about this issue and other kind of variations on that. Maybe plugging the Patreon for the week, the extra content that we have. And you can sit that just for the week. It ends by the time your next show comes on. You're not overlapping. You're not forgetting about it. You're not half assing the scheduling because you just didn't have time to do it. And you just sit here, do this this one time, it takes care of it. Now, in the meantime, now, if your account just becomes a bunch of automated, I don't want to say junk, but promotional spammy stuff, which I feel like as I'm building this list is what it's becoming. But then you have to make sure you're extra careful to have genuine interactions now i'm not worried about the wrestling mayhem show yes during the day during the wee hours of the night it's going to be promotional content but we have a fortunate thing where we have live events we have monday night raw every monday wednesday night there's a slew of wrestling shows and there's a bunch of us keeping an eye on all these things or maybe some of us are watching uh a, an indie wrestling dvd or other event and we're doing a a, a a delayed live tweet of our watch of that and our impressions as we're going through and watching that ourselves you know or some other event going on uh you know we have these already these key live events that that show hey we're real people hey here's opinion opinions it's not just hey go check out this show check out this show check out this show so we have those interaction points on top of everything so um does this replace Hootsuite or Buffer or anything like that? No, I still want to go in there and schedule certain things. For one client, I have uh, these quote cards that pop up at 7 o'clock every morning. Um, I have certain things. And, of course, I focus so much on Twitter. I'm realizing a lot of these promotional things, I still have to schedule and figure out how to integrate in Facebook and LinkedIn if those apply to whatever you're working with. I think in general with Twitter, you have this whole other philosophy. You can work this around. You're almost going to need to separate it out a little bit. As it is, uh, you should be paying in mind that, you know, these tweets don't work on Facebook all the time. They're too short a lot of times. Maybe the media doesn't work. And the way, especially with the Hootlet, with uh, Hootsuite, they're kind of separating how those look a little bit as, as well. And sometimes you have to do something weird if you're being lazy, as I do sometimes when I'm tweeting an article and uh, and, and just want one tweet and it goes to everything. Like, let's, let's just get this out here. I just want to get this information out, maybe. Um, so that's a, that's kind of a concern as well. So don't abuse it. It's tweetjukebox.com. Tweet jukebox.com you just log in with your uh with your twitter account i want to caution one more thing on here there's um an a setting in here if i remember where the heck it is is it under settings is it under yes it's under my settings uh nope that's false somewhere in here it's going to ask you to automatically respond to all the people that have talked to you. And actually, there is a section here about recent mentions. You can go through. You can do this with plenty of other programs in better ways. But you can actually go through and see. Yeah, I can see other people that responded to me uh, added uh, at Mayhem Show tonight during the Raw, the Raw Show. So I can go and respond to those. But of course, that's done in better places. But it can also go in and say, hey, my top interactors, thanks a lot for following me. Or thank you, new people that followed me. I hate me, personal preference. I hate automatic 
follows, tweets, DMs. Hey, thanks for following me, buddy. If you see a, hey, thanks for following me, either I left one of these things on by accident or it's me because I try to go in and say, hey, thanks for following. And I try to actually say, look at the people that have followed us. And uh, whenever I can, obviously, I'm not going to hit everybody and, and try to say, you know, and those have been really helpful because I get to find out sometimes, hey, no, yeah, I enjoy the show. Thanks a lot. Or hey, I saw that thing you did. Or hey, I met you at PodCamp and 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 I'm horrible with faces and Twitter's connecting. So there's that too. So that's really kind of come together and, and and it's something outside. It fills a gap for something you need to do for your promotion, but it's not the end all be all. This is one of the tools. Don't abuse it or you'll lose followers. That's the another thing I'm going to have to go through and, and I've made a note to do this on all my accounts. Did I lose followers? Is there been a big exodus more than previously with this? Are people seeing the bots? Of course, all my friends, everybody work on the show is like, man, you're getting spammy over there. I was like, no, you guys are following it because you guys work on the site. General people aren't getting every notification that we put out. And those are the people that we're reaching out to. It's the people where we're trying to rise above the noise that is Twitter these days. But that's a whole other discussion. Tweetbox, tweetjukebox.com. If you have questions for me, let me know. If you want to uh, ask the person that started UU Perspective uh, on Twitter, and of course, check out that original video I got this stuff from uh, with Sharon Morell over at podcamppittsburgh.com. Tweet Jukebox, play your tweets in a more efficient way over there. This is my take on it. This is sorgatron.com. Please sign up for my newsletter. I've talked about some stuff, including Blab last week. I'm hoping to use that in very interesting ways in the coming weeks. And we did some experiments with that. You can check out a little bit of that video there, linked only on the blog and the newsletter as well. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.